Hello. How are we doing? How's everybody doing? You know what? I am really, really, really doing well because this is Immersius. You see that on the screen right now? That is the first boss of the new raid, Siege of Orgrimmar. And if you are not aware, the first few bosses take place in the Vale of Eternal Sorrows, as they're calling it now. Basically, uh, remnants of what happens. If you haven't seen the video on that, go check it out. But we destroy the veil. Now, this is the first boss of the instance, okay? It's just a quick preview. We did this on the PTR. We don't get far. We don't have a very good group, uh, especially in the beginning right now. We only have one tank. But you'll see here is some of the mechanics. Now, I'm going to try to... you, you got uh, plenty of footage to show off. I'm going to talk about the fight a bit. This is not a guide by any stretch of the imagination. Just showing off the fight. You see the first things there? Uh, the pools. Okay, he's going to throw pools basically at you. And you'll need to move out of them. This is going to essentially constrict the area you're standing. So you'll probably want to split up your group. What we ultimately ended up doing was splitting up the group. This is 10 man, obviously not preferred difficulty. But uh, splitting up the group into two big quadrants. If you have three healers, we only had two healers. If you have three healers, you might want to do three smaller quadrants. But you'll see these puddles essentially keep on coming. And you're just going to pretty much have to dodge them by moving out of them. You don't have to move very far. But if you have everybody in one area like we do here in this first attempt, it's not going to go well, obviously. So That's the first wipe there. I want to show you a bit more of the fight, though. More of the encounter in general because uh, while it is of the first fight, it's actually quite complicated. Now, you'll see here he's getting ready to split. All right, The fight is essentially two phases. All right, The first phase is a standstill, basically DPS race. No, obviously not standstill entirely, but you have to burn him. It's a distinct burn phase. And then the phase you're seeing right now before it cuts away is the split phase. Okay, it's an ad phase. And you have to kill as many ads as possible before they get to him. And after so many seconds, he turns back into the boss. All right, there, there's the boss there again. So it's another attempt. Uh, but back on the split phase, the split phase is the types of ads. So healing ad is friendly. You can target it, uh, and it's obviously going to get healed every time you heal it with a spell. And once it gets to full, it goes into a certain state. And once all you know, once it's full and it reaches a boss, it counts. And DPS ones, once they're dead and they reach the boss, zero health and they reach the boss, it counts. Now, what we're doing here in the first phase is we decided it might be a better idea to stay stack up in a line. We still haven't really figured out the fight. It's like our third attempt, I think. And we're going to control where they spawn, and then we're all going to move. So what you'll see here is that strategy in action. I would not recommend this, though. I would recommend what we do at the very end. I don't know if I actually have footage of it, but either way, very, very, very cool-looking fight. Very interesting encounter, especially for the first boss. I see that we're trying to make all the puddles all on one side. It works. It works. But then he does this mechanic here called Swirl. Uh, he does that breath there, which if you're stood, at least on the PTR, you die. It happens right there. Two people die immediately. He goes over you, and you die. There's no two ways about it. But he's also got these little darker, uh, darker colored blue pools. And if one goes underneath you, you actually get knocked up in the air. And that can make for a difficult time, especially if you have some of this other stuff going on. But not really a lot going on in this first phase, to be honest. Uh, but uh, once again, it's the first boss, right? So you can't really expect much. And then once again, in the... Split phase, and the transition, I guess, second phase. You have to split yourselves up because right here you see the ads kind of go wherever they want. Like five go right there, four go to the left, and then one of them to the right. And it, It's not really easy to find. I'm healing one. I think I actually get this one to full, but I'm really not prepared for this fight. I typically have target macros for an ability like this, and they are not working with my heal bot on the PTR. So unfortunately, I don't get what I want out of it, but... In terms of, you know, testing, I, I think it went quite well. But yeah, you just kind of split yourselves up. It's quite, uh, quite, quite a basic concept, uh, at least in ten man. Now, okay, here we go. Take a break. Check this shit out. Look at how high quality. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but this looks like something from like Terra or a, a completely different video game. This is in the raid, and I think they have done just a tremendous job with the visuals in this raid so far. We haven't seen a lot of this this first uh, section of four bosses, but we have seen almost all of the Siege of Orgrimmar. So we're going to go back there at some point and get some more videos for that for you guys. But for now, man, this is this is the first boss, and it it certainly does not disappoint. So now here we've split up the room. 
Uh, if you can tell based on the mini map, we have five on one side of the room, five on the other side. And it works quite well, actually. Uh, we pretty much control where the puddles go and yet still have an even amount of people. And now we're, the, the key here is that we're already in position for the ads. Might get some footage of that. But as I said, you, you just need to be proactive because here you'll see here three DPS ads come out right next to each other. So you could knock them back. You could stun them. You could slow them. Uh, I make the mistake of throwing the hammer there. The, the ad just moves really quick. So as a healer, it's not an easy task to heal more than one. Two, pretty good if you're right next to each other and you have a lot of good burst healing. You might want to pop a cooldown or two. But after two, I don't know how you'll ever get more. Meanwhile, DPSers can essentially knock them back. Uh, void tendrils, Ellie Shaman knockback, death grip, mass death grip. Okay, things like that we did employ in some of these encounter uh, attempts. And it is a really, really cool concept because I do like especially in the 25 man environment, having those types of options. And I think everyone would agree that that makes for an interesting encounter. It's not really too detrimental if you don't do a good job, but uh, this is one of those fights that once you get a lot of gear, these ads are going to melt. Now, they are testing at 520 eye level. Okay, and that's a bit absurd. I don't know who's going to be doing this at 520 eye level, but they're probably going to be quite bad. And... You know, I'm 540 eye level on live, and this is, you know, obviously still two, three months away. So we'll see. Probably be closer to 550, maybe even higher. I don't know. I don't know exactly what you can get to in this tier, but it's pretty interesting one way or the other. I really do. Look at the ceiling. That's like a Titan, a Titan construct thing or something like that. I can't say it enough. They've done a tremendous job with this encounter. They've done a tremendous job with the raid, the visuals. Look at how good this room looks, man. It really, really, really does. And don't forget, this is all on the PTR. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, look forward to a few more videos on the 5.2 PTR. 5.2. 5.4 PTR. Time for Siege of Orgrimmar.